Hi, I'm Walter Blanding with the Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra, and this time we're going to focus on improvisation games. When improvising, whether you are an advanced improviser or just beginning, it doesn't matter because the game is kind of interesting, and that's why I call it improvisation games. And the basic way that it works is like this. You make a rule and you stick to it. It's very simple. You can decide, okay, I'm learning how to play over the blues. Or I might be learning a very complicated song like Giant Steps. Doesn't matter. But let's take the blues as an example. So the rule could be, I'm only going to play quarter notes. I can play any note I want as long as it's within the changes, but just quarter notes. If you don't have good time, use a metronome. Here's an example of playing um, quarter notes throughout the blues. Now it seems kind of boring, which it can be and most for the most part is, but the interesting thing about this is that the fact that, from in my case, I'm boring myself, it forces me to try to be creative, to think of something to keep myself interested. And that's what you're going to do naturally too. That's just how we are. As you go through that, let's say for example, for example, I'll play two courses of quarter notes with a metronome. Then the next two courses, I might decide to play quarter note triplets. And then the next two courses, I might decide to play eighth notes. And then the next two courses, decide to play eighth note triplets. And if the tempo's slow enough, the next two courses, 16th notes. If you can do that, you'll, you'll, you'll see that you're really developing a sense of, indiv of being independent. That's important because you're playing by yourself, practicing with a metronome. It'll help, greatly help to improve your sense of time, and it really helps to develop your creativity, which is one, one of the things that this is all about. Now, we just use rhythm as an example, but you can use other things as an example. Let's say I'm only going to play the first and the third of every chord. How would that sound? But I'll play any rhythm I want. <laughs> Or you can think of something yourself and come up with another idea. Here's another way that you can develop your creativity using an improvisational game. Instead of thinking of something particularly rhythmical or harmonic, you can think more conceptually. For example, I'm going to be two people. One person is one character and another person is a different character. And you can develop that in any way you want. For example, one character could be in a low register and another character could be someone in a high register. So using that same blues as an example, I could do this. <laughs> Just playing around. The most important thing through all of these different exercises 
is to try to keep in mind why you're doing it and try to have fun. Because otherwise, all work and no play, as they say, <laughs> it makes us a dull person, yeah? So you can try to use different concepts like this along with your creativity and imagination to have fun and explore different ideas through music.